Hi guys, I'm Nicole Sigurd and welcome back to my channel. So I did this. I, um, yeah, I'm really bored. I did do something kind of similar to this, but more like glam this side. Decaying part this side. Yeah. Um, which I will be posting up on Instagram on Halloween. But I just did this because I was really bored and, um, yeah, this happened. I, uh, I don't know what else to say, guys. I kind of had fun doing it. It was, uh, yeah, a lot of black eyeshadow. But, yeah, if you guys want to see this, then cool. You can really tell that I don't know why I did this. Hey, guys, I just want to excuse my voice. I am sick, but I'm setting my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin face primer and then putting on the Avon Mark foundation and just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. I'm going to be setting my face with baby powder and baking because my normal powder is finished. Um, I'm also going to brush through my brows and uh, fill them in with the Essence Eyebrow Powder as well as setting them with the Essence Eyebrow Gel. I'm going to be taking the black and the burgundy shade and just blending them in all over my eyelids. I'm going to be bringing down the color just to kind of contour my nose and wipe away the baby powder from my face. I'm going to take that black eyeshadow and just put it all over my lips so that I can prep it for color underneath the wood glue that I will put all over my lips and around my cheek areas. While I let that dry, I'm gonna take this pink blush and just put it around my eyes to add some color or bruising, I, I don't know. I'm just adding more glue around my head there. I don't know what air, my forehead, my gosh, my forehead. Um, I did peel off and like scratch the parts of the glue on my lips and now I'm just adding some black eyeshadow as well as mixing in that burgundy eyeshadow on top of it. I'm going to just contour my face a bit with the burgundy eyeshadow, bring it up my cheekbones and my temples and my forehead. I'm just taking my small eyeshadow brush again, going in with the black to fill in the spaces that were peeled off and just create some depth. To feel with this makeup look, it can really just play around with different colors, add in purples and pinks and stuff like that to create bruising and yeah, just make it look messy. As you can see here, I'm peeling the glue off just to create like holes in the face of the thing and I'm contouring the other side of the face. Okay, so my phone like died. And I did this top part. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, guys. 
I'm going to be taking this watercolor paint set and using the red shade and just dabbing that in random areas to make it look like blood or I, I don't know. I'm just going to be adding some baby powder to my hair to make it look grey. I, I don't really know why. Ugh. Oh, I should probably just peel this off in the bathroom. This is not a good, this is not a good idea. Oh, my lips are chapped, guys. Did that fall somewhere? Oh! That hurts a bit. This looks side grinds. Oh, there's still a bit on my lip. Okay, this is by my hair. I think I need to wash this off with water. Oh, it's peeling onto my towel and I'm sad. Okay, no, this needs to come off with water. It's in my hair. Great! Oh, I